success in Dillon County Board for the 7th Tennessee Field, preparing the Jesus area of and preparing for the field, their form to the South Carolina Administrative Law Court. And anybody rest of it? That's what he said, but he said actually what they do is cut it. 
take to the mill and then they pay us a percentage off. Can you put that for bids? Yeah, it's, well, we want to try to get it off as quick as we can because as soon as we get it done, we can kind of arcade and go ahead and finish it. This is the type of money we Now, Mr. Finkley, um, Mr. Daddy and I discussed this previously, and as I understand it, this gentleman is going to go out and get prices for people doing it, mm -hmm. but it'll be take and pay. You're going to take it to the mill, and they're going to pay it, and then they're going to pay you. Just do it both ways and see so, which one's the best. But if, if the county wants to bid it, they can, but Mr. Daddy deemed it to be a single source of the amount of land for so small 15 acres. And a lot of the acres the county just bought what was cut. Mm -hmm. It's the um, locking scrap metal property that we just cut over before they sold it. So the way Mr. Fink, Mr. Caddy looks at it, it's a matter of convenience and getting it off quickly rather than so much a matter of price. Again, it's a take and pay. If you do it on a take and pay basis, what they take off, They'll pay for it. I think yeah, there's a lot of timber yeah. in this county. I know that. Yeah, um, I think I'm not asking about that. We want right by the taxpayers. But, but he, he said it's such a small tract. He's, not he's a good guy. Fight. He'll do what's right, but I just feel like we need to. My opinion, but that's just my opinion. But I, that's, that's his suggestion, but it's cut and pay. He said it can handle that for us. Anybody have any more discussion on this? Can we have a I think you can call for another vote after we had a discussion, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, that's good. I mean, they hadn't voted on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got no problem. I'm with the law. I mean, I don't know exactly what they did. That's why I was Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. It's got a second, but it hasn't passed. No, it ain't passed. Right. So we need to revote. <coughs> yes, Mr. Continue to run. I think you need to revote after Mr. Powers said he wanted to have comments yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had his comments. I think Mr. You have a motion of second, Mr. Fink. I think I can call for vote again. If he could kind of give us a rough idea of what he thought he would bring, then we might go back to the table and say, well, you know, that sounds pretty good for the moment. Take it. Yes, sir. Take and pay. <coughs> Break that down to me. I don't know. Well, if they cut, four, they cut four trees, you can be paid for four trees. We you will or he will? You will, but of course he'll charge a commission. He's going to charge something to do it, but he will tell you exactly how much timber was cut off of it and exactly how much they were paid. And then, of course, the man cutting's got to make a profit and the man selling's got to make a profit. So you're not going to get 100% of what you made in the bill. It's going to be based on that. He can the timber every tree or is it selling by the plant? It'll probably be selling by the plant. Actually, if you want to. They'll cut it in a way that the mill can get paid. So, if we lose anything, it, it would be at the at the person that's cutting his suspense would be higher than someone else's because we're going to get the weight, it's going to be the same price. Whoever cut it, right? Take the pay? You can, if you want to, you can hire for it or get it approved, advertise it in the paper, get bids in, require a bid bond, and sell it that way. How about if he would just come up and tell us what it's going to bring as far as what they could it, you know, or what he estimates it to bring? You know? well, he could give us an estimate, but, but I, I think he's saying the track's so small that you don't get somebody to come in there and, and bid on it. Well, then we're going to raise a lot of money on tracks like that. <laughs> but but it, it, it's not much, because I've mean, seen that. Out there. Roger, Thomas I think about a camper group. I didn't really see any timber work cut that, but I went out and looked at it. But Earl said there wasn't. Pockets of timber on back, probably not, maybe, maybe a couple of acres of good timber to sell up to. Mm -hmm. The rest of it's kind of scrubby. Any, any more discussion before? One more thing I'd like to see. Okay. I believe Mr. Bobby's got timber. And I guarantee he, he puts it out for you for the bees, but if you don't have timber guys either, yeah. you know, I mean, they're out there, you know, not, you know. So, do we make the motion that we get three people to come look at it, then take the highest and go from there? Do that. You could make a motion that well, I think you can make a motion, you probably should do a request for a proposal rather than that you want to actually do a bid. Because you know, a bid would mean somebody can tell you, give you a gross price, they're gonna pay you to take it. Yeah. But Gaddy said that's hard to do. You could ask for requests for proposals that you ask for proposals. Request for proposals. I think you're 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 
you're going to have to do it one way or another. You either have to advertise under procurement. That's option number one. Option number two is to do, do it as a single source procurement, which is what Mr. Gaddy recommended by letting this gentleman sell it for you, pay him a commission, and then of course he would cut it and pay the commission, and you'll get what's left over. That's Mr. Gaddy's proposal. But if you want to bid it out, you certainly can do that. Well, if the council doesn't feel like this is right now, do I think we ought to advertise and let the people and everybody else in give us a price and we'll go up to the highest price? There you go. Mr. Daddy, we'll get a force to do a bid. Okay. need that motion. Yeah, I need that motion. I'll make a motion that we put it up for advertising and we'll get to go to the highest bid. Second. All in favor, raise your right hand. Well, I'm about to treat like this. Um, there's one in your packet that was put in today for um, the American Cancer, the Relay for Life is this next weekend. Um, so they were asking for a donation. And the other one is Makia Murphy, who is competing in the um, Miss Richland County, or she's competing in Miss South Carolina. And she's just asking for donations to help her um, with business ads that she needs to put in. And Harold Moody has said that he will get $50 from his recreation for Makia. And Ms. Murphy, if I may add, graduated from Dillon High School. And before the naysayers jump on the bandwagon, she works right here too, right? If anybody wants to go talk to her. She's a Dillon County native. She's working right down the street here. Before, you know, we have people jump to her. She doesn't live here. She just goes to school there. Yeah. She's a fine, she's a fine young lady. Miss Murphy. We're going to do the American Council Society first and then we'll do them all at the same time. Okay. 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 American Council Society. Okay. Still making a request. Okay. We'll do them all at the same time. Just give you what we're going to give you. Okay. All right. 25 for the Council Society. Anybody else? I do 25 each. 25. Probably you ain't got nothing. Yeah, we're <laughs> Y'all just sit there and be quiet. Now, Jack, so this is something separate from what Ron Barfield had in hand, because he contacted me and went from the county to not recreate our film and went to give him something from the county. Is this something separate? That ain't his deal, is it? That ain't, is that Ron? No. Melissa Thompson. Melissa Thompson. This is okay. Melissa Thompson. Okay, well, that's something different. Well, I think he's going to relay on out here. She's Rachel. got on who you can sponsor me and the Victory's team by sending a donation. Okay. So this is her team. It's all going to be good place here, Rachel. <laughs> Down, uh, number five, man, 5D, Wilson County Free Medical Center. Mr. Chair, we got a request from the Wilson County Free Medical Center. Uh, they're having a banquet. Excuse me, Mr. Young. Mr. Chairman, I stand to be corrected. I don't think, I know we had a motion and a second, but I don't think we approved the request. We didn't recruit yet, sir. We approved the request. Okay. Right. Well, motion is I make a motion. I say a second. All in favor? Thanks, sir. Can't have it out of Dillon County Free Medical Clinic. Sure, we got a request from Free Medical Clinic. Um, they're having a banquet, and uh, they gave me an outline here of what, what they do with their funds and the number of people they actually uh, act with. Just a flash out that we're working with. And you can donate the sponsor level up to as little as ninety-nine dollars, up to a thousand and up, which will be the uh, ninety-nine will be the friend of the friend of the clinic, and the platinum will be a thousand dollars or more. Um, and basically, you know, get our name in the bulletin. Depends on how much we you know, how much we participate at all. Motion. Uh, motion. Second. Is this, is this going to come from the county or is it an individual donation out of each of them? You do it either way. It can be from the county? Yes. Okay, we have a motion. I have a motion. We give them $1,000. Is that 
second. Three minutes, Ken. We have a motion to the floor to give them a thousand dollars. Do we have a second? I'll I'll second. second. Okay. All in favor, raise your right hand. Okay, we're down to number six now, old business, animal shelter intake building. This is one, on, I think y'all have heard back in uh, July, and uh, it started off as like a 20 by 40 shelter with a little storage building, uh, and the price on that building is about 12000 I think this council approved that, and then shortly after, I think, I'm going to want to go to a 30 by 50, and the price on this is about 23.9. I thought we want to pay for this out of the 1% sales tax money. Got to improve his money. And Douglas said he has 5,000 donations to this. So we're talking about 18.9. Um, Mr. Hall, you want to Okay, is that second? Second. Okay, we're down to number seven on our finance report. Okay. Um, this is as of the end of the month, March. Uh, currently, we're running a negative of eight hundred three thousand eight hundred seventy-eight dollars. Um, Part of that figure, I think we paid two hundred fifty thousand to Harbor Freight for the retail store. That came out of that, and also we have received our quarterly income from the state. And so we had those two kind of should come close to wash out. Anybody have any questions? I'm glad we get it in the Harbor Freight. <laughs> Chairman, I'd like to have a comment about that. Um, I feel like, uh, there's three ordinances here, and we discussed this before. The three ordinances deal with the planning commission, um, the um, and they're all they're, they're, they're all the same. Planning commission. This one deals with the um, board of assessment field, and the third one deals with the tax. Field. But and this comment is going to apply to all three. I'm fine making it because all three of these provide that the the um, People serve during the term of the council member district by district, and you'll see later on in the agenda. I think I thought all the seats are vacant now under this new ordinance. So either tonight or some subsequent meeting, you gentlemen will have to make appointments to these three boards, which would be one for each of the districts. But one thing I'd like to add, uh, Mr. Chairman, and members of council, is this will take an amendment to the ordinance and then you have to pass the ordinance as amended. I would like to add the following language um, which goes after in, in creation appointment. It would go after in the one, two, three, four, fifth line. It would be added and it would say, and until their successor is appointed and qualified. Now the law already provides that, but there gets to be some confusion about not having that in the ordinance falling back to the state law. You have to go back and read the state law then. And it's just, I think, a good idea to put that in the ordinance. And the reason for that is, of course, that new council members start the term January 2nd in odd years. And so if the term ends on January 2nd, and it would, it's nice just to say they continue to serve until their successor is appointed and qualified, which we know is going to be some period of time, probably going to be fourth Wednesday in um, January, if not the fourth uh, Wednesday in February, just as a practical matter. So I would like to suggest that somebody make a motion to amend it to add each member shall serve during the term of office of the county council member who nominated the appointed member and until their successor is appointed and qualified, just make it clear to the person who appointed. That he'll stay there until you make another appointment. 
but I'd like, if Council deems it appropriate, somebody to make a motion to amend the ordinance to insert that. Okay, so we're going to open for a motion. Can I ask one question, sir? Sir? Can I ask him one question? Yes. Do they have to live in your district? That's only live in Dillon County. And where's River? That's your resident of Dillon County. Okay. Do not have to live in your district, Mr. Cobb. If we have a motion to add that to uh, the resolution, I, I can't. Recall everything you said, but I, I, and until their successor is appointed and qualified. I make a motion, sir, until their successor is appointed and qualified. Okay. Yeah. Is that a second? I second. Okay, I'll make a raise your right hand. Now I'll be asked for a motion to approve the ordinance as amended. Sir, I'd like to make a motion to approve the ordinance as amended. Is, is that a second? Second. I'm in favor, raise your right hand. Okay, Mr. Chairman, you need to do these one by one because they're all okay. different ordinances. Okay. The third reading of the order is the Savings and Zillow County Board of Assessment and Appeals provided that you deserve and provided appeals therefrom to the South Carolina Administrative Law Court. It requires the motion. Mr. Chairman, the same motion, though, that we amended by adding the language to the same part because you are identical when you said that. And until their successor is appointed and qualified. So I make the motion to I make the motion on the artist you just read until the successor is appointed and qualified. Okay, there's a motion, is there a second? I'll second. And now you need a motion to approve the ordinance as amended. Make a motion, sir, to approve the ordinance as amended. Is there a second? Okay, all in favor, raise your right hand. Third reading of amendment to an order for the creation and operation of the Dillon County Planning Commission. Same motion to amend to add the same language into the same place and until the successor is appointed and qualified. Is that a motion? Make a motion, sir, until the successor is appointed and qualified. Is that a second? Is that a second? Now make a motion to uh, uh, pass the ordinance as amended. Okay, we have a motion. We have a motion, sir, to pass the ordinance as amended. Okay, this way. Second. And Mr. Chairman, I apologize to the council for not making that explicit to begin with in pre-meeting discussions with the clerk. The clerk brought that up and I said, well, that takes care of it. But we better put it in there. Because if she has a question, other people will too. Okay. We Third reading of the ordinance establishing a board of zoning and appeal to the county structure. They can just take that. 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 They can just Approve the amended ordinance. Motion, okay. sir, to approve the amended ordinance. I second. Okay, on the favor, Mr. Ryan. Great hand, Mr. Ryan. Okay, we have um, D9, third reading, in order to buy Dillon County, amending and enacting Dillon County building permit fee. This is the third reading. We have a motion.
in order to provide for the 2015-2016 fiscal year budget. Motion. The motion. I'll put it in motion. You got both the ordinances for the planning commission. Mm -hmm. Mr. Okay. Chairman, I move for discussion. Okay. All right, concerning the budget, Mr. Young, is, do you please uh, enlighten me? Is this, a, is this a proposed budget or this is an actual budget? No, this is just basically what we're dealing with. We did the previous years with the scout and the service. We're yes, basically doing by title only to get us started. So yes, the sir. budget committee will have an opportunity to. I understand that, but I do have a problem with the language of the agenda because the agenda says this is a budget ordinance. Is it a proposed budget ordinance? Is it a budget ordinance? Because if not, to me, it would need to be changed to say whether or not it's a proposed budget or a budget. Yeah, it's first reading for the proposed budget. So it is actually the budget. The actual proposed first reading for this year's budget. Okay, I'm going to say this is first reading. We're going to have two more readings. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have full council workshop, so if there's any questions, anybody wants to ask about anything, it'll be clear in your mind before we vote on the session, and especially before we vote on the third. And everybody's going to know what's in the so, Mr. Chairman, may I finish with Mr. Young? Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Young, mm -hmm. reason being, and I appreciate what you're saying, Mr. Chairman, and that's the right way to go about it, but in this case, at the moment, that was not the case. It's already before me, I haven't had time to look over it. But there are some things I looked over today I certainly have concerns about. I have concerns about how do we come up with cutting the employees bonus? Uh, basically, all it is is balance the budget. I mean, you can basically just say, I, you can make a recommendation, you just approved last year's budget like we did last year. I mean, that'd be fine. But we didn't, what I'm saying is we did not cut their bonus last year. No, we didn't cut so, it. But it. We didn't cut it basically it until this budget is finalized, nothing's been cut or added. According to what you, yeah, but I understand, because I understand what you're saying. I understand the language. I understand the step where right. this become legal. Hey, look, if you right. want to delay the reading, that's fine. It's just, that's strictly up to council. If you don't want to pass the budget as proposed, you can you can change it and modify it. Only yeah. problem I got, Mr. Young, is with your language. Is it a proposed budget or is it the yes, budget? One minute you say budget, next minute you're using proposed budget. I, 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 that's I what it says. It, right. it says. it says on there, first reading for a proposed budget for this fiscal year. Well, tell me what change in your budget then to, to cut the employees' uh, bonuses. There's a that's lot what of I'm them. asking for. There's a lot of cuts in there. All it did was balance the budget at the time. Every year we pass it as a as a as a, a, um, a tight limit. I don't know what the difference is this year was last year. Okay, we've had we've had discussions. I want to say something. Okay. Once we pass it, we just step closer. So we don't have the two readings to change them. Change them. Is that right? Yeah. But my thing but you is, you got two readings to, to you got eight weeks to basically. Do I understand this. that, but. No council probably except the budget committees had it on their lap until it was Monday. And you got a lot of mix ups in there. So why wouldn't you just want to hold off till we could look at it more? We need to first get the first reading. Well it takes three readings of public period public period. It's, 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 it's been a discussion now. Okay, well, do we have a motion to put some first reading? Mr. Chairman, I, I, only thing I'm saying is here we gotta be able to talk this stuff out. Yeah. Because if we can't talk it out then I mean there's gonna be another yeah. vote. But I think the language in itself should be clear as whether it is a budget ordinance reading or whether it is a proposed budget reading. That's the only confusion I got here. Mr. Chair, when you tell them I have a workshop. Whenever it's convenient for y'all and, and the before the second reading. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll have at least one or two before the second reading. You can change it up until the third reading. Yeah. If we can't get this budget worked out in eight weeks, we need to go home. Got well, why don't we just table this and just go together next week and have a full council meeting? Council workshop, remember anybody? Have and then also have opportunities to look at it. I'm telling them to meet back the order. Do we have a motion to, to, to yeah. have the first reading? I made that motion. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll second. I have the first reading. Raise your right hand. All opposed? Make sure you put me down in the pools. We spend it taxpayer dollars, as Chairman Pinkley says. Okay, we got to do what's right. Well, this is the budget is not wrote for stone because we had the first reading. Yeah, Mr. Bob, you know, their administrator told me Monday. His plan was to give all county employees 
two hundred dollars instead of seven hundred dollars. I never said that. You, I never said Clay, that. You did not tell me that that you would give Clay. You tell me that. We now have that kind of talk this thing. We now have we I'm a grown man just like you would do. You remember that. I remember that. We don't have that going on. You don't want to chair. As long as I'm chair. I'm just telling you. I got to have to. I have control of this meeting. You can yeah. talk all you want to and we yeah. tell the boss. Well, I just tell you. When he sat there telling me he didn't tell me that, I'm going to tell him different. Well, I'll tell you different. We're all grown. He sat right there and told me on okay. Monday. We're going on the show. Mr. Chairman, I do want to make one comment on the budget, if you, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, Budget. Everybody knows that the budget we passed last year. We we oh, we spent more money than we took in. Right. We went into our reserves. So I want everybody to thank. We have eight weeks before we have to pass this budget, and I want everybody to thank. Somewhere between three and five hundred thousand dollars is what we were short, and we keep raising our hand to spend money, but we don't think about. We got two ways in government. Works the same way in my house. I have to have more money or I have to cut my spending. And that's all I got to say, guys. You got eight weeks to figure out how to balance this budget. Can I make another comment? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we got weeks we can balance it. We don't have harbor freight pay no more. That's a quarter million dollars. Seven hundred some thousand dollars on the infrastructure. Now we can't and I know y'all say I'm harping on the engineer, but Mr. DeBose's law firm got thirteen thousand dollars besides his pay last month. Now if we sit up here on this council and let that go on we are in trouble just like the rest of us. Oh, one thing I like to say, Mr. Chair, I quit. The uh, only thing I said, we just need honesty. That's all we That's all we need. We get honesty and everybody's at the table. Everybody knows what's going on. Then certainly there shouldn't be no room for confusion. Well, I guarantee everybody's going to know what's in the budget before we have the third meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, uh, we're already getting number nine, so we're down to uh, number ten. That's a point. Mr. Chairman, this goes back to what we discussed before about most of these under the new ordinances now being vacant. And uh, council can, you make the point that they deem appropriate, they're all important, but the one that really meets on a regular basis is the planning commission, the uh, appeals and the tax appeals you know, on a regular basis. They need to be appointed because they're all holdovers now. Nobody's, no one's serving a term except at the top of the page, with no in pain commission in certain terms, they're all holdovers. So I would suggest that the council either this meeting or certainly the next meeting, you know, find out who you want to nominate from your district. You said for Dillon County or for the district? You, you, each member makes a nomination. They don't have to live in your district, but they serve during the term of the council member per district. Scott, so your district is different. What's your district number? Yeah, two. That person will serve three. three. That person will serve during the term of the member for district three. Can I make my appointment, Mr. Chairman? The way we're going to do this is we'll start off with uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to make the commission first, and we're going to start off with district one, and then go to the district and people appoint who they want. Dominate, Mr. Chairman, then council have to appoint him. Like, not my name. Okay. All right. District one. Okay. We right now we we appoint people to the Dillon County Planning Commission. Council from District One if you got a point. Yes. I'm uh reappoint Judge King Gibb for this. Okay. Do we have to vote on this? Yeah. This is not the nomination, now you have to call for a vote. Okay. Probably district two. Probably district two. Randy district. Randy district. I think my nominee is still good, isn't it? Well, you'd have to make them, you'd have to nominate them, Mr. Goings, and then they'd have to have a call for a vote, which would have to take a, a, a vote, have to actually vote on it, on your nomination. You'd make a nomination to the council vote. But you can have the same person, yes. I nominate Marvin Goins. Okay, uh, Marvin Goins is nominated for the district of Dillon County Planning Commission. Is there a second? I second. I'm favor, raise the right hand. Okay, uh, Bobby Moody, uh, District 2, he, he, he nominated Joe McQueen Gilchrist. Is that a second? I second. Okay, all in favor, raise your right hand. 
Okay, District 3. I'm going to nominate Mr. Bobby McDuffie. Okay, Mr. Bobby McDuffie, District 3. All in favor? Raise your hand. I didn't ask for a second. I second. Okay, District 4. That's my district, Glenn Green Jr. I'd like to nominate Glenn Green Jr. I'll say. Is it a second? I'll say. All in favor, raise your own hand. District 5. I'd like to nominate Ms. Hattie McKinnis. Okay, is it a second? I'll second. second. All in favor, raise your own hand. District 6. Oh, District 6, I don't have anybody this time. You don't have anybody this time, okay. Let's get down to District 7. I don't have anybody this time. Okay. All right. Good, Joe. Uh, so, with the Dillon County Zoning Board. Mr. Chairman, I just ask a procedural issue to the two gentlemen, 6 and 7. Would you like that on the agenda next time? Yes, I'll have somebody next time. Yeah. Just so the clerk will know, put it back on the agenda. Yeah, I'll have somebody next time. Okay, uh, Dillon County Zoning Board of Appeals. Talking about the appointment to be at uh, your appointment. District 1, that we can do. You got everybody in mind for Dillon County Zoning Board of Appeals? I mean, I got somebody I haven't told you. Who's been the Jerome McQueen, I believe, is there. Mm -hmm. yeah.
Okay, she's the one that was on planning commission. And for Jerome McQueen is the one you had for zoning board. Oh, he's in the nursing And for tax appeal, it was Marvin Gold. That's the one. That's the one that I thought was the first one. Okay. Yeah, we got Marvin for. And well, that would be the number for that. The other two, I'm gonna have to come up with something. Okay. Um, the last year, there Who did I have last time? Mr. Gold was designed. I made that motion going to the 